Once upon a time, there lived a great king. He sought to know his true self. His ministers counseled him to seek Buddha's assistance. He had heard quite a lot about Buddha and desired to meet him sometime. His wife was a long time disciple of Buddha. One day, Buddha visited king's capital. Being a disciple of Buddha, the king's wife wanted to go and welcome him in person. She said to her husband, "When such a wise man is in our capital, it wouldn't look good if you don't welcome him yourself." The king agreed. Since this was his first meeting with Buddha, he thought to amaze him. So, he proudly said to his wife, "I am going to gift a one of its kind diamond to Buddha." His wife started laughing and said, "It would be better if you offer him a fresh lotus from our pond than a diamond." As his disciple, I know Buddha is fond of lotus and welcome them more than diamonds. Besides, what would a monk do with a diamond? The king smiled heartily and said, "What man wouldn't be happy with a diamond? Anyway, if that's the case, let me present him both a diamond and a lotus flower. Let us see what makes him happy." The following morning, the king and his queen went to welcome Buddha. He was about to start his spiritual lessons to the monks gathered there. Just then, the king's golden chariot arrived at the commune. The king stepped out of it and walked towards Buddha with the gifts he had brought to welcome him. First, the king offered him the diamond. Buddha said, "Drop it." The king was surprised. and he could not bring himself to drop the precious diamond buddha again said drop it with so many audience the king had no other choice and he dropped the diamond then the king offered the lotus flower to buddha buddha again said drop it with slight annoyance the king dropped the lotus as well but buddha again said drop it infuriated the king said my hands are empty and i possess nothing to drop buddha again said drop it the king's ego of being king emerged and he slashed out at buddha what do you want me to drop from an empty hand buddha smiled and said my dear friend i am not asking you to drop any substance i am asking you to drop your identity and your ego drop your mask of being a king because with that mask i am not able to bond with you here nobody is king nobody is commoner here everybody is himself just be yourself silence fell after a brief contemplation the king placed himself at buddha's feet this is what i have been asking you just drop it like the king we all have a mask we search for ourselves through the identity given to us by the society and position that we hold dropping them is the first step of our journey to discover our true selves thank you for watching kindly do subscribe for further such content